I'll show you guys what life in the Polish countryside looks like. All right, I arrived in the town center. It's very small and quaint. The town center basically has just some restaurants around and then a shop over here which has the best ice cream. Um, and that's all I know about this place. Everything else is like, there's nothing else really. Best ice cream shop ever. Cream ice cream and aronia berry, which I don't actually, I think it's just aronia in English as well. November 1st, really big holidays in Poland, um, in the Catholic tradition. Everyone comes to the cemeteries and cleans the graves of their deceased family members and decorates them. And so the cemeteries actually look really pretty. It's a very colorful way of celebrating the deceased. So because it's the week leading up to it, people are slowly coming to the cemeteries, cleaning up the graves and slowly starting to prepare for it. Today's an important day in Poland because there are elections for parliament. There's an odbus going on in front of one of the churches and it's basically like a, people sell things here, toys and stuff for kids. I arrived just in time for the home cooked meal. My mom made some sauce for mushrooms, picked here. Just, I love mushrooms. Perfect. That was Whoopi Goldberg here, one of the best burger joints in Tokyo. And now we're going to Akihabara to revisit the whole geekiness. In the barn now we got two goats, three pigs, a baby calf, and a horse. And then there's two more goats out in the pasture. Oh, and chickens outside. Yep. Enjoying dinner? Yeah, it's good. Is it good? It's good, isn't it? You want to eat some camera? Mmm, camera, so tasty. Give me that camera. Mm -mm -mm. I fell off of this horse when I was 12 years old but I survived just fine. My youngest cousin's super into motors and engines and stuff, so he's always like fixing and riding. That's the horse. Oh, don't climb my pants. Ow, your claws. Please don't bite me. Why are you biting me? This is Akihabara, the only station in Tokyo that I know of that has explicit watch out for upskirting signs on escalators. Fun fact, if you buy a cell phone in Japan, you can't turn off the camera sound. So my, my iPhone, when I take a picture, I cannot disable the camera sound. And this is a law that's present in Japan for the very reason of upskirt photography. Which he wants to go there? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so this is AKB48 Cafe. AKB48, ugh, oh my god. 
This place is Gundam Cafe, one of the iconic locations in Akihabara. Many people who live in Tokyo, they really look down on people who go to such places because it's touristy. I don't like to be a snob. If you enjoy this, then enjoy your time. It's tacky. All the theme restaurants and cafes in Tokyo are super tacky. But if you like a brand like Gundam and want to see and experience this, come on. So you can come here, see the robot, see the gadgets, have a coffee to go, and that's it. It's a very retro district. It's what the future was supposed to look in the 80s. The problem with Akihabara is the over-sexualization of everything here, so now it's mostly about make cafes that are pretty much gross for everybody and not so much about electronics and video games. There's still arcades, as you know the video game industry in Japan is not doing so well, so this area is not really flourishing at this moment. What remains from the older times here is the general cyberpunky feel. It, this area really feels like Ghost in the Shell or Akira, so movies made decades ago. Found the cows. Just get to pot the. Hey. Bye bye cows. <laughs> I'm trying to get a time lapse and this cat will not stop bothering me. Ow, you're a jerk. Stop it. Ow! Stop. Stop it. <laughs> My grandma's village is located about 60 kilometers southeast of Krakow. That's getting close to the mountains, so it's a very hilly area. It's very relaxing. <laughs> Arcades in Japan, yo. Crazy stuff. I was pretty knocked out for about two hours by intense cat allergies, but I'm in Bohnia now, which is like the bigger town between my grandma's village and Krakow. This is a giant chunk of salt. And the cool thing about Bohnia that's worth noting is it has a salt mine that you can visit. We just came into Bohnia to see my dad who's staying here for some treatment and then I'm heading back. Bye bye Tata. Bye. Apparently about 90% of Poland is countryside and agriculture is a big part of Poland so it's worth showing and it's very beautiful and tranquil and for me a huge part of Poland because it's where I spent most of my time in Poland over here in this house in this village <laughs> two hours of this and my head is exploding from the noise the cigarette smoke because you can smoke inside and yeah at least I got to play my favorite genre of Japanese craziness which is bullet hell.